Hi, I'm Aimwin, and welcome back to one of my videos. And I'm sorry I haven't been doing a lot of gardening videos recently. Uh, I have been busy with a lot of schoolwork. But today is the first week of October, and we decided that because it's getting colder and we're getting a bit scared of the frost, uh, we decided to do a bit of a garden update because we're harvesting all of these plants uh, before the frost sets in. I don't have much time right now because it's getting a bit darker, but in, in, a, in a few days, I'm gonna come back and show you around. So, as you can see, this is what we currently have. All right, so here's the bad news. It's mid-October right now, and according to my mom, there's a frost warning for tonight. So this is probably gonna be the last garden update for this year. We might do a garden update after the frost, but for now, we just wanna do one last video before everything gets killed by the cold. So let's go inside the garden and see what's up. Actually, leave that here so that you can focus on the inside of the garden. So I apologize, everything might look a bit run down. And that's because it's not in its summer glory right now. It's more in its withering fall age. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over everything that we went over in the past garden updates. So first off, we always start off in this corner. This is the leafy green. We have the cauliflower and the collards. And you can see that they're still leafy, but there's a ton of holes in them. And as you can see this, I'm pretty sure this is kale in the back here is pretty much gone entirely. Now over here, we have these chilies. All right, so according to my mom, the only things that are producing right now are the peppers and the tomatoes. And those are the only things that we're harvesting, which is why they're the only thing that you saw in the basket. Now, behind me, we actually have wing beans. And these wing beans have actually been, for them, it's been the most, it's been the most productive year. And we were gonna do a gardening update on the wing beans, but we forgot to. Hey, Burton. Come inside. Okay, anyway, if you're curious what wing beans look like, this is an example. We harvested most of them, but unfortunately, they're pretty much entirely gone. Uh, we also have like one stray eggplant over there, so, okay. But also we have these beans here that we need to harvest because we need to get the, their seeds for next year. Okay. All right, so we're gonna continue on. I apologize, it's a bit cold right now and I forgot to bring a sweater. So there might be a bit of shakiness, but over here we have what's supposed to be our cucumbers. And as you can see, all of it is pretty much gone because we harvested all of them. And if you're, if you're curious about this trellis, we actually built this this year. So we've done a video on it, so go check it out. Uh, behind me, we have some more to, uh, chili peppers. I don't think specifically chili, but definitely peppers. We've also done a video on peppers, so if you're curious, go check them out. We also have some bitter melons here. I almost forgot these because, as you can see, they're pretty much entirely gone. We have some edamame down here. We forgot to do a video on them, but we're going to have to harvest these so that we can take their seeds for next year. Just so that we, ha we don't have to order any edamame seeds from online, you know, from China, because last time we had to do that, that was painful. Um, we have some, some more uh, beans and peas. Uh, right here we have some lemongrass. We don't have time to harvest them right now, but they're they're gonna be okay probably. We also have some videos on how to preserve lemongrass and how to plant lemongrass, so you will check that out. Uh, also, while we're here, I was gonna mention that we might be able to see the neighbor's chickens, but it looks like they ran back inside. You might see it in the background sometimes though. Over here we have our Dangkusong and our Kanko. It looks like they're doing pretty well. Uh, definitely worth, worthy of a harvest, but we'll leave it for now. Our Chinese celery is also doing good. This one is, um, uh, is suitable for cold weather. It, it survives in the cold. So the Chinese celery should be okay. As for the uh, parsley over here, we actually can still harvest the parsley. Um, I forgot to mention, this is also producing. Um, I think most of the herbs are still producing, but mo the only plants that are not herbs that are producing are chilies and tomatoes. Over here, we have our um, cabbages. And it looks like most of these have been eaten by the squirrels. Huh. So, if you don't know, squirrels have been a huge, a huge pest for my mom. And pretty, there's pretty much no way to defend against them with this open, even, even this closed-in garden, there's pretty much no way to defend against them. 
but I guess that's all right. The, the squirrels can have these cavities. Uh, over here we have our bean trellis, and as you can see, pretty much entirely uh, dead. Some more peppers. It's more, um, what's it called? It's more celery. Over here we have another tomato plant. Uh, looks like this one's mostly dead, but still some tomatoes left on it. We probably can't harvest that one though. Over here we have some more peppers. Like I said, they're still producing. This used to be our lettuce patch, but now the uh, I mentioned in our my previous videos, we planted some chili peppers in a form of complementary planting. So if you're curious, go check out our video on the previous gardening updates where I explained that. And we also have the slash trellis that used to have some wing beans. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leave these wing beans on and we're going to harvest the old ones for their seeds for next year. Also some um, bitter melons over there. We'll leave that for then. But finally, probably the best one for this video is the loofahs. Now, the loofahs span this entire fence. And let me tell you something. This is actually one tree. That's right. This entire thing is one tree. And you can see that it produces absolutely massive, absolutely massive loofahs. Uh, what we're going to do with these loofahs is we're actually going to leave the the big mature ones for seeds so that we can harvest it for next year. I just want to repeat, this entire thing is one plant. But anyway, let's get out of this garden and see what's in the tomato garden. And as you can see, Burton is awaiting our exit. Here, Burton. We're going to open the uh, door a bit. Here we have some more eggplants and some peppers. I mentioned in my previous videos that we've been plagued by a certain woodchuck and a uh, gopher pest and they've been eating these very recently including these beans. As you can see there's some evidence of that. All right so my dad just told me these aren't actually the beans that the gopher ate but they do look very similar to that state. Actually my mom cut out the entire plant so that she harvest them inside the house. Now also behind me we have a chicken pen over there. Uh, and as you can see, our chickens are very curious on what we're doing. Oh my god, look at that pepper bush. That is huge. Oh my god. And if you've never seen a potato plant, it's actually pretty cool to see what they look like. Maybe not blackberries plural, maybe just blackberries, this, this, just this one. Alright, so in the fall, these roses should bloom. It looks amazing. Very tasty. Like I said, Asian chives but there are some traces of raspberries. This is our new roses. So I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I and Ayman, especially the garden updates and the gardening videos in general. Like I said, there's also videos on our chickens. It looks like our chickens have gone into their, um, into their nest. So uh, if you're interested, I'll leave the link down in the description below, but I'll see you there. And for now, that was, that was kind of weird to end up. But anyway, I'm my one and signing off. Peace. <laughs>